First at six, new developments in major unsolved crimes here in West Michigan and the arrest that police hope will solve them both. Police today officially called Jeffrey Willis the man arrested last week in a kidnapping as a person of interest in the disappearance of Jessica Hearinga. They also say they could charge him soon in the murder of Rebecca Bletch. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker is here with the latest. Ken. Yeah, Jeffrey Willis' name keeps resurfacing in both the mysterious disappearance of Jessica Herringa and the unsolved shooting death of Rebecca Bletch. Today, the sheriff told us they could know within days if they can charge Willis with the murder of Bletch. She was found shot to death in June 2014 along a rural road not far from her Muskegon County home. Ballistics, they say, are key to the case. Tests to see if the 22 caliber shell casings found near her body came from his 22 caliber handgun. The results are expected this week. Also today, Norton Shores police told us they are focusing on Willis in the April 2013 disappearance of Jessica Herringa, calling him a person of interest, though they still don't have evidence linking him to that crime. This map shows key locations, the Herman Miller plant where Willis worked the night shift, the former Exxon station where Herringa was last seen, the locations where a silver minivan was caught on camera, leaving the gas station the night she disappeared, and the two properties owned by Willis's family that police searched last week. Willis already is accused of kidnapping a 16-year-old girl at gunpoint last month. Police say they found a gun, handcuffs, syringes, porn, and more in a secret compartment in his silver minivan. The state today told us Willis bought a minivan in late March 2013, just weeks before Jessica vanished. Also, we learned about a possible setback in the Herring investigation, that the witness whose description back then led to this composite was not able to positively identify Willis is the suspect, though police said she couldn't rule him out either. And we're also learning more about Willis, that while he has no criminal history, he did have prior police contacts. He was questioned in 2007 for allegedly videotaping people in the Sam's Club parking lot. And there were three domestic calls at his home, along with two animal complaints. Detectives expect a ballistic test this week. In the meantime, Willis is in jail on a $1 million bond on that kidnapping charge.